Hey everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial. This week's scrapbook layout is another funny Christmas one. This was from maybe four years ago, four or five maybe. And it's a picture of me, my mum and my nan. No, me, my mum and my sister. And then one of my mum and my nan. And we had these cards that you clip, it sounds really awful. You clip them kind of in your nose, in your between your, you know, your nostrils. And they have different like beards and mouths and moustaches and you can see there how they, <laughs> they look terrible, especially my dear Nan in the middle of me and my sister. It's, it's quite disturbing, but we laughed. You know when you laugh and you almost wet yourself? That's what we did and it was on Christmas Eve and we just had such a giggle. And um, I think we've still got them lying around now. I might have to see if my sister gets them out again. But they're just brilliant and I was going through some photos the other day and I thought these would be perfect to scrapbook. So you've just seen then I've been going through my papers. I'm using still the same papers which are the Echo Park and Simple Stories. The Echo Park is a perfect Christmas. Simple Stories is very merry and they're both from last year. But I just wanted to get them used. So it's a very, very similar layout to the one that I shared last week in terms of colour. But I love it. As I said before, I'm quite a traditional red, green gold that kind of thing so I've just gone ahead selected the paper I'm using that really nice checkered red and black and then I have just kind of layered up I'd already had these photos printed with a border so I didn't need to add any white cardstock like I usually do but I have gone and just matted a or laid up another kind of printed paper on each of them from the same pack so this layout I'm using the title fun and laughter and I'm just using some of the gold little uh, chipboard um, letters and I, again, it just looks really nice, the gold with the reds and stuff. So I'm just, it, like I said, it is similar to last week's, but obviously the layout is different, but in terms of colours and stuff. So I've not stuck them down. I'm just taking everything off there, ready for me to kind of do more of a background. So this is just the Cosmic Shimmer paste. This is the gold. And I'm if there's someone says, you know, say something that's maybe not so good about yourself. Mine is, in terms of when I'm in my craft room and I'm sat on my chair, lazy. So my spatula, as I when I last used this, was the other side of my craft room and um, <laughs> I just couldn't be bothered to get up and get it. So I'm using my burnishing, my bamboo um, bone folder. How bad's that? But I did wipe it off straight away. But you can see here I'm just doing these kind of brush strokes all off to the same kind of direction from that bottom left. And then I'm just heat setting it. This is really lovely. You can see now it just creates, look at that shimmer, it's just gorgeous. So that's just what I'm having in the background. And then I'm going to start layering up everything on top. So these are just some of the sticker, sh um, sticker strips from the 12 by 12 sheet. And I'm just starting to just build them up. I'm kind of just really using up anything now. I was just going through bits of the leftovers and I thought I'm just going to throw anything at this layout because all the colours match. So it didn't really, you know, matter too much. So now I'm going to keep these very, very close to the bottom of the 12 by 12 layout. So there's a lot more kind of open space towards the top and I just want to show some of those strips off. So I've decided to pop my title along the very bottom. So you can see there it just spouts out fun and laughter. These aren't sticky. They never are. Not enough to last anyway. So you see me now. Can you see the bottom towards the left there? I'm just peeling off the actual sticker from the back of each one and then popping some of my own wet glue on the back. I then know that they're going to stay and they're not going to fall off. So, yeah, it, it can be quite frustrating when that happens. So I'd, I'd rather spend a little bit of time and just take that all off and redo it. So I'm just starting to pop the pictures now on some foam adhesive. So I'm just going through there with those strips. I do that on both of them. Again, it just gives you the option then to be able to tuck things in behind if you do. Plus, it's just nice to have that bit of dimension. So you can see now I've got everything stuck down in terms of my photos. I've got those two nice strips and the title Fun and Laughter. And now I'm just starting to play around with all those kind of um, ephemeras that I'd already die cut, stickers that I'd die cut before from other projects. I keep them all together again because you know everything's going to match. Now, I've, like I said, I've combined it, the Echo Park and Simple Stories because they are almost identical. The colours are the same, slightly different in terms of, I guess, style, but not enough to really notice it. So I'm just mixing it all up. So I'm just now, I've stuck that nice kind of garland around the top right of the one of my sister, me and my nan. It just makes me laugh when I look at it. It is, it's that picture of my nan in the middle. It's really, really weird. 
yeah it's just i think it's going to haunt me in a in a funny nice way but you know what i mean and then the one look what we done with her with that we put a baseball cap on her that same cardboard chin and then some garlic garland my nan hates garlic so it was a silly present we do a silly present thing every christmas eve so yeah again that's what that awful picture is but you can see here i'm just sticking down uh, comfort and joy naughty or nice and family fun and then I've gone and popped a little sticker towards the very, very top right hand corner because one of those longer strips, I thought it was 12 inches long, but it didn't actually meet the very, very top. So I've just popped that little um, floral kind of sticker over the top. And I'm just using little stars that I just stuck down there. And then this one underneath fun and laughter says the best gift of all, which I think it is your family, fun and laughter. I mean, that's all you need in life. So yeah, perfect. This is just another sticker and I'm just stuck that on some red car stock and then I'm just going around and fussy cutting it and then that one gets stuck at the top left of that one of my mum and my nan who was in hysterics and you can kind of tell by the way we've she's got a shower cap on her head actually it's not I've just remembered I'm looking at it closer it's a shower cap not a baseball cap and um, she was just crying with laughter so yeah so there it is finished with some white nouveau drops and you can just see close-ups there it just looks really nice sparkly very quick again it's just a nice way to you know do a very very quick scrapbook and layout those ripped pieces at the top were what i used from last uh week's layout so i've just reused them again and yeah i think it just works really really well so you can see all the clothes you see how lovely that glitter kind of comes through all those nice little titles there you can see when you lift it up on the 3d foam that dimension again it's just another nice touch the nouveau drops all the layers of the stickers the fun and laughter and the gold it's just yeah you know i say this every week it's just fun it's just nice and i enjoy doing them so i hope i've inspired you you can do your christmas layouts any time of the year so this year all these lovely photos you take in january put some time aside and get cracking and get some of those layouts done because it's really special to keep them so that's me for this week have a fantastic christmas and i'll be back again soon bye